CAD friends, I have been posting some pretty neat techniques to design with code blocks and they've all been fun creative things that are just cool to see but right now I'd like to take you to a project that is actually useful and it is easier to create using code blocks so let me show you what I'm talking about I showed you my multitude of 3d printers but we have just obtained a glowforge and the glowforge needs a vent so check it out we've got a hole in the wall and that little wall plate was designed using Tinkercad code blocks and let me show you why it was so easy and epic so now that you've seen what i'm building let's head to the code block location where i built it now when you head to code blocks note they always show the designs that they just give you to check out above and you need to scroll down and find your amazing creations mine is way back here and it was called the vent when you launch it you get to see your code if you haven't completed a code block design yet, uh, I will put a link up here in the corner for a good one for you to start out with. But what you do is you create objects, like I've got the plate, and then you add the parts. I had a square that I put in the measurements for. I wanted it to be one and a half thick, or a cube. And then I added a cylinder and a tube. The cylinder was a cutout. The tube is the walls. And then finally I added a hole and then I put the little corner holes where I repeated 90 degrees and it just moved out and it cut all those little holes for me. One of the most cool things is when you hit play, it draws it. So there you can see the cube coming in, you can see the hole getting cut out of it, you can see the cool little pegs getting dropped into the corners. And then when I choose the group command at the very end, it cuts them out. And that quickly, I was able to create a precision design, which you can see over there attached on the wall, and it is working like a champ. The next design that I have to make, or I want to make, is I want to make an insert that comes inside this, so I can clamp the insert into the vent hose, so it's a simple push in and push out, and I don't ever have to attach the clamps when I swap the hose in and swap the hose out while I'm doing my laser cutting. So friends, right there, you can see a useful reason to design with code blocks. The precision of just typing in the numbers as you build your project is super cool and really efficient. If you found this useful, friends, please hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. Click the notifications if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL Mod Tech. And if you have a question or a comment, leave it down below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and keep tinkering.